the staff have been trained to help guide people who are learning and guide students. We can help student teachers develop their own information literacy skills and in turn they get the chance to pass that on to their students. Students individually on their own, we offer homework help in the terms of helping them understand their assignment uh, through the reference staff and we have uh, online databases that specifically help the kids. As student teachers, we can provide workshops for your children, workshops specifically designed to support what you're teaching and it gives us an opportunity to highlight the services we have. So it might be some books that we have, it might be some databases, it's all those things. So they pull them all together. And we have, um, in that same vein, we have workshops to introduce sixth class kids into, you know, now you're doing your assignments on a higher level and you need to start using them more of the public library. One thing that I think is important is to develop your own knowledge of the resources and tools and um, information that's available. And the best way to do that is use topics you're interested in, use ideas that you enjoy learning about as you investigate the resources, databases and books that are available. And then once you've used that to discover the idiosyncrasies of each one, you're better able to pass that on to your students and you're better able to instruct them in how to use those sources because you've developed a good knowledge yourself. To remember that the library is not limited to what's on the shelf. People go to the shelf and think, oh, we haven't got anything. We have three branches, so it's not just where you are, and there are things online, so ask the staff. We know that's why we're there. They can join as what we call a student, uh, which gives them borrowing rights for the time while they're studying. And, and they can also join as a reciprocal borrower. So there's an agreement between li public libraries in New South Wales and on the basis of their own local library card, they can join the library in the location where they're studying. And, and vice versa, if they're away on, on placement, they've got the opportunity to use their Coffs Harbour card that they've joined um, to join the library where they are. And, and it gives access across the board. Your library card gives you access to everything in the library, the books, the DVDs, the databases, internet access, and it gives you access at home. So that's all you need, the card. There's so much to share and there's so much available. But um, one thing that's available through the National Library is the database Trove, which as the name implies, opens up to a wealth of information. And students can search in there to find primary resources as well as secondary sources of information and it's um, available from home. You don't have to be into a library to use it and it's freely available. The State Library also has resources that are available and you can log in to get a reader's card and allows you access to there. And once again, the information is so vast, um, you've got the chance to find what you need. And coming down to it, the local library, Coffs Harbour Library, has our own website, which is the access point for databases to the library catalogue and for recreational reading. So you can get some ideas and things about what resources and books you might like to read or what books you might like to, to suggest to students to read as well. There's lots of things available, all at the press of a button, as they say. For me, it would be um, the Online Britannica which is available within the library and in your home. Your Tutor, which is a, an excellent service that Southern Cross are a partner in providing to the community. And our music collection, because don't forget, you've got to have some relaxation time too.